Inside the booth, I'm Len Casper. Sean Marshall in for uh, Jim Deshaies, who's uh, battling back from a knee injury. Speaking of injuries, Chris Bryant has been placed on the injured list with a sprained finger. More on him a little later. But, Sean, tonight it'll be the professor, Kyle Hendricks, trying to play stopper. And he needs to put on a clinic on how to pitch. I mean, last night he got to watch that ball game when the left-handed pitcher was getting hit out of the ballpark. John Lesser was, didn't have his A game last night. He'll put that one in the rear view. But Kyle Hendricks will need to rely heavily on the changeup, the off speed, executing pitches down away. This is a, a hitter-friendly Wrigley confines today. So the ball will be carrying out without a doubt. So he needs to keep the ball down, pitch to weak contact, change speeds, change eye level, and do what he knows how to do. He's been really good that St. Louis start this week uh, and an unfortunate loss. But he knows how to have a game plan, and he will execute it as planned. All the talk about the young guys in the White Sox lineup, you cannot forget about the 33-year-old three-time All-Star. Jose Abreu still a big force in this lineup. One home run away from jumping into the top five all-time on the Sox career home run list. And the White Sox tonight will hand the ball to Reynaldo Lopez. He left his first start early because of shoulder issues. So, Marsh, this will be his first start in a while. Yeah, it's been almost about a month since he's towed up the rubber. But he was very consistent the last couple of years. He's thrown almost 200 innings, been a very reliable right-handed guy with some plus stuff, 93 to 100. Mixes speeds well with the curveball, slider, changeup. He got a couple different sweeps on his slider. But he's been injured, so I expect him to have a limited pitch count today, and it may be a bit of a bullpen day for the White Sox. But we'll wait and see what he's coming out with, and if the Cubs continue their approach and seeing pitches, which they lead all of Major League Baseball and pitches per at-bat. They can get to you by Advocate Health. Tim Anderson will lead things off and play short. We mentioned Moncada is back in there, just giving his legs a little bit of a break last night. Grandal returned and homered in game one. Abreu hit two. Jimenez went deep. Encarnacion struggling here, but they haven't really needed his bat. Robert hit the go-ahead shot early. Nomar Mazzara will bat eighth and play right. Danny Mendick, the second baseman, also homered last night. Will bat ninth. And Sean, the starting pitcher for the Cubs, brought to you by Budweiser. This Bud's for you, Kyle Hendricks. He's been very good. He knows how to do it. He mixes pitches. The changeup is his number one weapon about 36% of the time. He pitches that pitch in combination with his fastball. He runs that nasty sinker. 29, got leads MLB average and sinker drop. Vertical movement, 26 inches, but he's a fantastic competitor. You don't know what his emotions are inside this very composed young man, but he can pitch. He's very, very smart out there, and when he executes his pitches, he has great success. Hendricks brought to you by Geico. Wilson Contreras will catch tonight. Anthony Rizzo, Jason Kipnis on the right side. Javier Baez, David Bodie over on the left. Again, Chris Bryant goes to the IL today. Schwarber left, half center, Hayward right in the outfield. Cubs will play with a 27-man roster tonight and uh, replace Bryant. 6-4, and their lineup is brought to you by Blue Cross Blue Shield through it all. Half Rizzo Baez, 1-2-3. Schwarber, Contreras, Hayward, 4-5-6. Caratini, the DH, Kipnis, and Bodie, 7 8 and nine and the White Sox starting pitcher brought to you by Budweiser. This Bud's for you is Reynaldo Lopez. Lopez came up in the Nationals organization, came over here in 2017 with the White Sox. He's been very reliable. In 2018, 3.91 ERA in 188 innings. 2019, 10 and 15, took a little regress as far as ERA is concerned, 5.38. But when you're throwing 184 to almost 200 innings a year, you're taking the ball, 31, 32 starts, and that's what he's done. Uh, his first outing, a little shoulder strain, left early. So I expect his pitch count to be a little bit limited today. And those specifics given by Ricky Renteria, she would not expect him to go too deep tonight. 